Arema, <laughs> it's been a very beautiful story from the guy who should rap in a car mm. to the guy who has transitioned to being uh, getting over a billion streams online. What has that journey been like? Um, it's hard to like compile it into like a sentence. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just gotta say I'm grateful, you know. Yeah. Everything that I envision, seeing it coming to fruition, mm -hmm. like even faster than I expected. Yeah. yeah. I'm very, very grateful to the people who believed in me, like from jump, and people who believed over time. Yeah. You yeah. Know, but, you know, we had to give some people some time to catch up. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 <laughs> wow. Okay. Rama, okay. So, all yeah. together, all together, I feel like everything happened at the right time, mm. and you know, um, I'm really grateful to God for everything. Just giving me, just unlocking levels and you know giving me the wisdom to navigate through life uh -huh. through, through my career and right. you know through my personality and my brand you know okay yeah. you had uh, a song a collaboration with selena gomez right it was yeah. uh, a beautiful collaboration how do you think selena gomez felt doing a song with an ido genius <laughs> <laughs> that's a valid question that's a valid one i endorse that um for selena gomez yeah you know, I know like these features sometimes it comes comes as a, as a shock and people think like, mm -hmm. oh, the label is trying to do something like that. Yeah. Like that. But me and Selena, we've been in communication since like 2020. Ooh, wow. Okay. Yeah, uh -huh. We've been talking and she, oh, I'm a big fan of your music. Mm -hmm. I'm like, ah, same here. Like I've been seeing you in my TV since I was a kid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I just I just kept uh, the relationship going. Yeah. Because, like, yeah. I'm that guy, man. If someone comes to my life, I have to check up on you once in a while. True that, true that. Yeah. So I, I held on to the relationship for, for a long while. Mm -hmm. And, you know, after I calmed down, came out for a while, I, I, I spoke to her. I was like, hi. Um, uh, my song Calm Down is, is doing really well. I don't know if you've heard it. She said, oh, I love it. I love mm -hmm. the song. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, I don't mind if you jump on the remix. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Really amazing. So she did. And then, then our team came into contact but it's right. been two of us like, just the two of you up until you. that moment yeah 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 wow. I like and it's mo it hits different because she's she has a lot going on she has a makeup plan she has yeah. Yeah. still taking her time to respond to the young G's uh, yeah yep let's talk about uh, Madonna for a bit right. uh, and I think there's a video that I was circulating on social media of the moment you guys met and um what was that feeling like though for you when you when you met her and you know mm. from what we hear she showed up at your show your concert what was that feeling like for you mm. you know when when she told me she was going to come to the show I yeah just, i just thought it was like one of those things where yeah <laughs> person be like yeah i'm coming <laughs> because i'm makami yes. <laughs> 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 wow that's another one <laughs> yeah but like she did she pulled up yeah uh -huh. she pulled up while i was performing and I saw her up there, mm -hmm. and like, oh my, like my, my my mood at that point in time was like, yo, elevated. If I'm gonna take off my trousers and trade to the crowd, you're care, gonna I'm do that, gonna boy. Do that. <laughs> yeah, cause like it's you know the fans really inspire me and motivate me, but yeah. it's, it's mm -hmm. different when you have the legends in the in the guest seats. Just yeah, like, yeah. You, like yeah, it was huge. Most especially backstage when she started like showering me praises mm -hmm. and everything yeah. about the performance. Mm -hmm. it just when I went back to my hotel, I looked myself in the mirror. I was like, okay. Now I've arrived. Yeah, yes, yeah. sir. The king is here. You know what it is. <laughs> it just hits different, you know? Yeah. Because a lot of times we just get carried away by mm -hmm. just being on the road. And we mm -hmm. never get the chance to, like, mm -hmm. praise ourselves and embrace the win. We never have that time sometimes. Yeah. But you get reminded by people. Yeah. Just letting you know what you're actually doing and how much yeah. you're impacting the culture. Yeah. yeah. We, we had Tamaya here a short while back. I think a couple of weeks back, three weeks ago. And he, he mentioned he said of the new cats of the guys who are doing so well in the music industry mm -hmm. you his words you are the apopsy you are the that's dad. what he said literally and he says mm. he you are like his favorite artist how does that make you feel right, right. like Rema, i'm a fan of Rema. Ooh, mm. okay Rema. Yeah. among all the young voices the yeah. toughest yeah. Mm. <laughs> yes so Rema is their dad who wow coming from a legend i'm very yeah. grateful mm -hmm. um someone told me like my photographer mm -hmm. He told me about Timaya. He said he says Timaya rocks with me. Like, yeah. Like he he just overheard Timaya just talking about. Him. Yeah. yeah. You know it, it takes. Look, like these people they're huge. Like they've done a lot for the culture. Yeah. yeah. Um and it it means a lot for them to recognize someone young. Mm -hmm. You know doing their thing like. I won't I won't I won't, I'm not trying to point fingers but there are a lot of G O G S that 
feel too OG to even give like the shout know, outs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that makes but sense. It, it like it means a lot for for someone to praise you that much. Yeah. yeah. You know, I don't know if I'm a pop CEO. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Like, yeah. like don't involve me. Or I don't know about that. I don't yeah. know, but I'm just you know I'm just doing my thing, and you know me just believing in myself and just doing my thing. Mm. I feel like the people will have to choose that. You know, like people just call me the Prince of Afrobeat, not because yeah. I, I started shouting I'm the Prince of. But Afrobeat. they related yeah. to you but to give just, that crown. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah, the people choose their king, and I think it is what it is. Okay. It is what it is. You know, I was gonna ask you when you first realized that you were a superstar, but I feel like that moment was like when you were like, "Listen, I am the, I am king, I am it, I am it." Actually, you know, I, I've been, I've been, I've, I've been having that feeling like since way back. For a bit, like, yeah, yeah. Big energy, back. big energy. Yeah, most especially like when the first EP dropped, and I saw. And I saw the type of people that oh. it props in my DMs. Uh-huh. And I was like, wow, mm-hmm. just four songs can travel this far. Yes. yes. Oh, you guys don't know what I got coming. <laughs> you <laughs> know what? I absolutely, I absolutely love your energy. What I also love is your fashion. If I could, personally, if I could read your closet, I think the two things I would take would be the brown dungarees you wore in Paris playing the guitar for the girl. And then the <laughs> denim. Ah, uh, you remember? Yeah, I remember. Ah, I, you don't know yeah, 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 I'm a dungaree person wow, too. Allah. So, uh, <laughs> but if you could rate, if you could rate anybody's closet mm. and take like something three outfits who would that person be who else it's a rocky Ooh, ah, yeah. you know what that makes a lot of sense it's because it's a rocky. Mm-hmm. it's a rocky man i don't know man it's just everything his style is different <laughs> it's just everything yeah mm. it's different it's mm. different it really inspires me you know it's a trav mm-hmm. um uh nigo mm-hmm. uh uzi little uzi, Lil uzi. Oh, okay. okay okay Lil uzi vert yeah. Okay. I just feel like I feel like in as much as a lot of these people like wear high high end fashion. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel like if you take away high end fashion from them, they can still survive. They can right. still rock. You right. Know? They, mm. they got they got style. Style. You know? Style. You know, a lot of people just wear high end fashion. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Even me, like it's not a lot of times I wear high end fashion, but I just know how to dress. Work so clothes I don't together. Really care if it's high end or street. Just wear. regular mm-hmm. street wear. Yeah. I just like I just be popping up stores and just pick up stuff. That makes sense. I mean, it's, that's exactly why I would read your closet, quite <laughs> honestly. <laughs> I mean, um, they just played the song um, "More Damo," which is one of like the the crew's biggest jams right now. Who would you say you're closest to in the Maven family? Um. Hmm. Ha. Hmm. No, I love everybody. <laughs> oh, Rama, don't give me that Edo boy answer. I will take it from what you. Do you what do you mean? What do you mean? If you want to talk to me, talk to me direct. Don't go through the corners. Listen, give me a name right now. No, I lo- look, I love everybody. My bond is like on different phases to everybody. Okay. Because yeah. most, okay. They're mostly affected by time. Right. You feel me? Like the time I met them, and I know that the bond is going to get stronger and stronger. Like yeah. Mm-hmm. For Crayon, I knew him like when Long I time ago. got into the yeah. living house. That's why we're, like, we're really strong. Mm-hmm. Me and Jazzy were friends. Mm-hmm. Like, aside him being a boss, like, yeah. his dad is an awesome friend. Yeah. yeah. Um, Ira, Ira is a vibe, man. Ah, there's a lot of times. I, it's yeah, so, it got to a point like I couldn't, I just couldn't go out like mm-hmm. or party without Ira. Cause yeah. Like, She's, she's she, a vibe. Yeah, she's a vibe. She that gets, makes she sense. She gets ginger. Yeah. Yeah. That makes you know, sense. Spice, Bayani. Like, mm. no, nah, we just born on different levels. Even, like, for Bayani, me and Bayani, I feel like we really born really well in the studio when mm-hmm. we record. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. Yeah, like, sharing ideas is really amazing with Bayani. Spice is just really talented, man. Yeah. yeah. It's cold. It's cold with it. True. Yeah. Um, 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 you mentioned a lot of people, and I feel they need to even ask this question now. I, I remember Fireboy doing his interview. He mentioned that uh himself and you are the leaders of the music generation of this music generation right now do you agree with that statement and do you think there's anybody close to catching up with you both um so the thing about me is that yeah I didn't do my own. I didn't look best in one. <laughs> it makes sense. Yeah I don't look at people's yeah what, mm-hmm. what people are up to. Mm-hmm. Yeah I don't, I don't even yes it's a it's a friendly competition but I don't try to yeah, but, but do you agree, though, that, you know, you both are the leaders of this generation, like Fireboy said? Um, uh, I'm just doing my thing, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know how to answer that question. Mm. I know I'm a king. Yes. Yeah. You know, the people call me the Prince of Afro B. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's just about how I see myself and how the people see me. I don't really want to, I don't really want to place myself on a pedestal. Yeah. On a pedestal. Yeah. And I feel like everyone is doing their own thing. And one thing is that... 
when you when you look at other people's pee, you start you get distracted. You start, yeah, you get distracted or you start questioning your whole pee. Yeah, I feel like everyone is really doing well, even if it gets slow sometimes. Uh huh. You know, it's a it's a circle. It goes round, round and round. You feel me? Uh, it sometimes it gets slow, sometimes it gets fast. Mm. Whatever. Like, uh, but I feel like everyone is going on their own pace right like years ago where would you think Bonaro would be because we had our top three already yeah right yeah. Time, yeah. but like yeah. you don't know time will always tell so true it so is what it is yeah. you're meeting with Hakimi uh, mm. the uh, the PSG player and Morocco mm. and of course at the Walker right now was it by chance or you guys have been friends before like you know things happen in the DM you've been communicating or how did that come to be so PSG has been communicating with my my management. All know. right. Um, they 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 talk about like the songs like that uh, the players usually play in their locker room. Yes. Mm. You know, like they play calm down a lot in the locker room. Yeah. yeah. And how about we pull up and watch a match? Oh, okay. Yeah. And I was like, sure. I bet I'll, I'll pull up. Yeah. Like, but lucky for my heart, I just pray the day where I come make no go lose. <laughs> <laughs> they say that you bought the bad luck or something. I, I tell my guy, I'm very good. I don't want me to play as if they lose that. Yeah, game. yeah. But they actually like scored like eight goals. That, game. And that was like everyone was in a good mood. Yeah. yeah. And you know we got behind, um, you know, the stadium. Started like talking to the players and stuff. Mm-hmm. But they said Hakimi is the one that put everyone on. Onto. Okay. Oh, okay. Hakimi is the one with the Bluetooth speaker. Yeah. Like, going off every time. The one so, with the ox cord. Yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. So like his love for me was just on a different level. That's why he gave me his shirt because like it was on another level. Mm. So yeah, that's where the bond really started. And I you know started like talking to him often. And yeah, we bros. Man. So um you know I listened to how you came about your creative process for the song Love, and it was very interesting. I'm like wow, look at that. You know, getting inspired by FaceTime. Yeah. So do you have any rituals that you get into before you get into like your journey for a creative process? Um, to be honest, no rituals. Mm-hmm. I even feel like mm, the 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 amazing loves happy songs I even make. Mm-hmm. I make them when I'm even at the saddest point in my life. Makes oh sense. wow! I make sense. it when I'm sad or depressed mm-hmm. or like I don't even have like jeans out to go to the studio. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and my boys just come with the microphone and I'm like, ah, here we go again. Yeah, and I'm gonna try. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you know. Mm-hmm. You see, like I feel like it's. I feel like discipline is doing it more for mm-hmm. me than inspiration. Right. Yeah. Discipline is pushing me more than inspiration. Mm. Yeah. I go day this week now. I go I'm more. I never go studio. I'm more. Carry me go studio. Is it the album? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. I know. Like I already have a stack of songs, but it's just like my body just scratch me if I don't work. Mm. Let's do it. You feel Makes me? sense. So I'm yeah. always like I I'm always on go. Tap me and I'll make a hit. Okay. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Um, your Raves and Roses was definitely a hit, that's for sure. Thank you. But and you said that uh, everybody on that um, album was your friend. But yeah. what was the most difficult song to make on that album? Most difficult song mm. to or make. the toughest one. Toughest, mm. toughest, toughest. Let me think. Time on affection. No, the only tough thing about Time on Affection was when Chris Breezy jumped on it. Yeah, mm. I already submitted. Yeah, right. so you're waiting on him to drop his own. Uh, yeah, Sound, it was, yeah, it was not like waiting on him. We we're just chilling. I didn't even know that he was going to jump on it. We were just chilling first. Though. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then he was like, oh, I l- love this record. I want to drop it. But I was like, I don't really submit. But <laughs> Wesha, do what you want to do. If yeah. it, if it happen, it will happen. If it yeah. don't happen, then... We'll scrap it. Yeah. Makes sense. But yeah, it, it happened. And I talked to my label. And my label said, like, yeah, sure. Let's make it happen. So, okay. Yeah. But I feel like that was the only difficult part of things. But mostly... It's not tough. It's not tough yeah. on this side. 